Hello and welcome to That's Football, the morning daily transfer show encompassing all of football based on your opinions. We've got lots to discuss this morning. Join us every morning on That's Football for the latest news around your club or just your interest in football. Get comments in below. So where to start? Well, basically, we're talking stars who potentially want away from their clubs that are now trapped for another year. Where does their professionalism start? and their, I suppose, uh, frustration end. We're starting off with Philippe Coutinho, probably the most profile one of the uh, of the last week or so, crying on Brazilian international duty, wanted to leave Liverpool to Barcelona, his dream move, and that has evaporated now. Apparently, he's told Klopp he wants assurances that he can leave for Barcelona next summer. World Cup year, I don't expect Coutinho to just down tools, be frustrated, be moody, because the Brazil squad's a very good one, and Coutinho will want to be part of that next year in Russia. However, what I would say in defence of uh, Liverpool, because it could be anybody who were a victim of this sort of player who signs a new contract in January for five years and then five months later he wants out of the club, it's Coutinho's fault. Why did he not put a re release clause in there? Players need to learn. Players need to learn. Why did he not have a release clause in there? He was rumoured to be going to Barcelona, I remember, this time last year. And all through the season, oh, Coutinho will go to Barcelona at some point. Signs a new contract, doesn't put a release clause in there. I expect professionalism from Coutinho, and I think Liverpool will benefit from that. Whether he'll be here in a year's time or not, look, Barcelona are a much better club than Liverpool. Liverpool haven't won the title in 30 years. So you can understand why a Brazilian would want to go to Barcelona. But he's only got himself to blame at the end of the day, and player power didn't win. In relation to Alexi Sanchez, slightly different. Uh, in fact, let me just talk about something else. Antoine Griezmann to Manchester United didn't happen this summer. It is official now that his release clause has dropped from 200 million euros to 100 million euros. It was 100 million euros up until June when he decided to stay at Atletico Madrid because they had the transfer ban. It then went up to 200 million euros. It's now been confirmed that it's dropped down to 90 million euros again. Obviously, transfer window is shut, so the first time anybody can really tempt or test that is in uh, is in January or next summer. Will Griezmann come to United? Was there an agreement there, a gentleman's agreement, that you know he had to stay at Atletico Madrid because of the ban, he felt he owed them, and United have kept that number seven shirt open for him? Will it happen? I'll tell you what, I'd like Griezmann to go to Manchester United, obviously, but... 90 million euro, 90 million pounds is an absolute bargain for arguably the third best player in the world in his prime, especially when kids like Dembele and Mbappe have gone for over 130 million. I wouldn't be surprised if people like Barcelona, Bayern Munich, you know, Real Madrid, Chelsea, City, other clubs might fancy a little. I mean, that is a bargain. 90 million a year ago, we would have said that's a lot of money. Now it, it, it's not. So interesting to see what happens with that. Anyway, Alexis Sanchez, let's compare it to the Coutinho thing, where Alexis Sanchez wanted to leave Arsenal. He now finds himself at Arsenal for another year. And I think it's a very different situation to the one that uh, Coutinho had with that five-year contract he signed in January. For Alexis Sanchez, he's 29 in December. He, um, he's now stuck at a club that doesn't have Champions League football, that's got no chance of winning the title, where there are big issues there. And I think even Arsenal fans will admit, you know, they're they probably have empathy towards Sanchez because Arsenal's problems start with Wenger and go right the way up to the ownership. So Sanchez can see a lack of ambition. When Coutinho's been off the last few weeks with a bad back, Sanchez is, is you know, carrying Arsenal. Clearly the most hardworking and talented player in the Arsenal squad. But he's in a difficult situation because if he gives 100% over the next 12 months or, or eight months uh, to Arsenal, but he doesn't, you know, imagine he got him, he did a knee injury in November. He's got nowhere to go. He's got a year left on his contract. Um, so will Sanchez put as much effort into his final year at Arsenal as, say, Coutinho would to get in the World Cup squad? Sanchez is always going to be part of the Chile World Cup squad. But he's got to be thinking about the future. He's, he's, he's older than Coutinho. He's 29. A bad injury for him. He's got no security of a long contract. I don't know with Sanchez. It's one to watch. Will he just take it slightly easy until January can he, when he can sign with his new club? Keep your eye on that one. Definitely very interested to see what he does. And finally, Sergio Aguero following on from Alexis Sanchez. For me, Alexis Sanchez, um, Sergio Aguero, I think he's one of the best players in the Premier League. I think he's wasted at Manchester City. Despite winning a couple of Premier Leagues, I think San Aguero should be at a club like Real Madrid or Barcelona. I think he's one of the best strikers in the world. Arguably the best. He's uh, prolific. 
Pep Guardiola just doesn't seem to take take to Aguero. Um, obviously wanted Sanchez. He's got uh, Jesus, uh, Gabriel Jesus uh, from uh, the Brazilian. Um, Aguero, you know, there's rumoured to be a bad relationship there. And Aguero has apparently said that if they buy Sanchez in January, he wants out. So one to consider there. And also I just want to mention in relation to frayed relationships, um, Costa at Chelsea. Unbelievable. Chelsea apparently might sue Diego Costa if he doesn't come back to Chelsea. I just feel that, I don't know how Chelsea fans feel, but from, from the outside looking in, it's embarrassing. Costa's a, um, Costa is a, is a divider. You know, I think if he plays for you, he wins you titles. He's won two in England, and he was a big part of Chelsea winning the title last year. You know, whatever he is, he is a good striker. But I think Conte, there's something wrong with Chelsea. Conte is just, I think he antagonises players, and I think he's dealing of... Costa hasn't been what you'd expect of somebody who is a figurehead of your club, a manager of your club. He, you know, he's very dismissive in public. And is it a surprise that so many players have snubbed Chelsea this summer? I think Conte's got a bit of a reputation and I don't think the way he's handled Costa is that good. But what do you think, most importantly? That's what this general roundup of uh, transfer news is all around is all about every morning really a number of topics for you to discuss what are you expecting from Coutinho this year professionalism or not will he go next summer Alexis Sanchez is he going to go all out for Arsenal when he's going to leave he's not in the Champions League he's 29 and in, in January in four months he can sign with his new club he can't play with them till the summer but he could go if the club let him go in January so would you risk some major injury or would you just take it easy have a couple of knocks you know I'm thinking with Sanchez he, he, we might not see him he might you know he might have a, the odd hamstring injury between now and Christmas and then he can go and get that secure contract what about Griezmann will he come to United or do you think he'll go out for some somewhere else for 90 million it's a bargain isn't it uh Aguero where would he go after Man City if they were to get Sanchez um interesting very interesting get commenting that's the whole point of the show like I say Start a comment below, everyone else join in, get involved in it, that's football, that's what we want from you. If you are new, make sure you subscribe to the channel, we're going to be daily at 7 o'clock, there's going to be other content as well on the channel. Keep getting involved and uh, drop a like and uh, thanks everyone for watching, back again later, thanks for watching.